Hello, my name is Susan Dougal and I'm the Chief Academic Officer for Shelby County Public Schools. As you may know, we are beginning to use a digital data dashboard system called Empower to communicate progress of learning for our students. Empower has the capacity to generate printed progress reports along the learning journey to keep you informed of current progress. As a reminder, Shelby County Public Schools does not report progress in a traditional grading system using percentages, but instead we report on the actual learning and progress toward mastery on each standard of a course or subject. We use a four-point scale. A 4.0 represents mastery of a standard. It reflects application or transfer of knowledge in new situations and context. A 3.0 indicates a strong knowledge of a standard, but the student has not yet been able to apply it at a deeper level. A 2.0 indicates that a student has basic knowledge. When you see a 2.0 as a score, it may mean that the teacher has only provided opportunities at an introductory level at this point. He or she may be in the process of providing opportunities for more application in the near future. A 1.0 might show that the student has not met the criteria for basic knowledge of the standard. You might also see an IP beside a standard on the progress report. IP means in progress. This indicates that the standard is in the early stages of instruction and there might not be enough evidence of student work to give it a score of one through four. At the bottom of each list of course standards, you will see a progress score. This is an average of all of the standards progress scores at this point in the school year. As a parent myself, what I wanna know on a progress report is, is my child progressing at an acceptable rate and is he on track to be successful on these standards? Here's a rule of thumb at this point. If your child has a 1.0 as the progress score for the whole course, there may be cause for concern. It may mean that the student has not completed all necessary assignments or that he or she is having difficulty with the content. I would recommend reaching out to the teacher to ask about your child's progress. If your child has a 2.0 on the course progress score, it could mean that the teacher is still in the introductory phases of a unit and has not provided an opportunity in several of the standards to show learning at a 3 or 4. I would recommend talking to your child or to the teacher to see if there could be missing assignments or if he or she has reached the highest score possible on those assignments. If your child has a progress score of 3.0 or better, it means they've been provided the opportunity to show application or transference on at least some of those standards of the course. Have a conversation with your child about how they're doing on the assignments and ask them if they have the opportunity to correct, redo, or show more evidence of learning to increase the standard score. This is the first attempt at reporting progress in Empower. You may notice that there may not be very many scores or there might be missing progress scores from some of your child's classes. This may be the case for several reasons. First, we are very early in the school year. The standards taught during the first four weeks are, are the only standards that we see in these reports. Secondly, there may be an issue with which standards are in the system for a particular course. Our curriculum team is working on ensuring that all standards will be there uh, before the first official report card on November 6th. For parents of high school students, your child's final course grade at the end of the year will be converted to a letter grade for GPA and transcript purposes. The conversion formula used for the last several years in our standards-based grading model will continue to be used. If you have specific questions about the report, please always feel free to call me at 502-633-2375 
or you can email me at our school email address, susan.dougal at shelby.kyschools.us. Thank you.